The Glasgow 2014 Queen's Baton Relay was introduced to the Virgin Islands on Thursday, April 3rd, as a symbolic event unifies over 2 billion people across the Commonwealth and sparks excitement leading up to the Games that are held every four years. Sean Rose reports on the Baton's visit to the BVI. President of the BVI Olympic Committee, Ephraim Penn, welcomed the unifying force of the Games among athletes from the 70-member nation grouping as Kamau Georges and Dalen Vanterpool raced to musical heights when the Queen's Baton Relay got off to a grand start following an opening ceremony that attracted a melting pot of various demographics. <laughs> The 1,000-kilometer journey of the Queen's Baton Relay covers 70 nations and territories of the Commonwealth. The BVI leg sprung to action when Vice President of the Commonwealth Games Federation, Fortuna Belrose, out of St. Lucia, led the Baton entrance into the Noel Lloyd Park. The event brought the excitement of the 20th Commonwealth Games scheduled for Glasgow, Scotland from July 23rd to August 3rd, 2014 to the Virgin Islands, says His Excellency Governor Boyd McCleary. The Governor says the baton unites the two billion people across the Commonwealth. As it travels around the territory, the baton will bring with it a little of the excitement of the Games and of the Queen's message contained within the baton but which will not be opened and read until the opening ceremony on the 23rd of July in Glasgow. The Queen's Baton Relay unites the two billion citizens of the Commonwealth in a celebration of sport, diversity and peace. And Deputy Premier Dr. Kedrick Pickering, in his capacity as Acting Premier, welcomed the focus on the youth for this year's relay. The BBA is home to a number of young future Olympians and masterful sportsmen and women, and in their respective sports, they have done the territory proud, and we are delighted to have them represented in the Baton Relay. The Queen's Baton Relay is very youth-oriented and community-spirited, and has galvanized the support of service clubs, businesses, school clubs, community leaders, and students of all ages at all points. The baton has been in the region since March, leading up to the July-August Games where over 4,000 athletes will compete, including 12 from the Virgin Islands, says Commonwealth Games Federation President Fortuna Belrose. We know you had a history of deliverables and we're hoping that of course the Commonwealth Games this year can be one of those games where the BVI can come through and deliver some silverware to the island. This is country number 53 on the journey. And of course, as you know, the battle symbolizes the values of equality, destiny, and humanity. Values that all of us as members of the democratic countries um, embrace. Since March 5th, the battle has been in the Caribbean region, and we have seen the diversity and unique nature of each, each Caribbean country in the presentation of the battle relay. Minister of Education and Culture, Youth and Sports, Honorable Myron Walwyn, spoke to the cultural promotion events for the Virgin Islands as the world's largest relay runs through the islands. We hope that this picturesque nook in the world is known as Nature's Little Secrets and boasted, Dr. Pickering, as the sailing capital of the world, will captivate youth with our sights, sounds and our culture. Several sport disciplines from across a wide section of this society will bear the baton. Cyclists, runners, and for the first time swimmers will participate in the world's largest relay. Our sister island of Judson Dyke for the first time will also be included in the relay. This is a significant step and a significant stop along a leg of the course, and I know the stop will only add to the flair to be found on Tortola and Virgin Gorda. Various aspects of our culture will take center stage for this relay. Steve Augustine, who represented the Virgin Islands at Commonwealth Games in 1994 and 2002, ran the first leg of the relay, with several other public-private partner representatives taking turns at various points through Road Town, onward to the first district to Karat Bay, 
and then the baton was driven to the wedding, followed by a run through Cane Garden Bay, ending at the beach by the Methodist Church, where BVI Swimming Association swimmers escorted the baton out to the police launch for transportation to Just Van Dyke. The baton was displayed at Government House, and on the morning of Friday, April 4, a rain affected ceremony was held at the Yacht Harbor in Virgin Garda. But the downpour did not altogether deter the proceedings and the subsequent relay events on the sister island. The relay then turned toward Trellis Bay for the final leg, ending at HLSCC with a cultural program and closing ceremony on Friday afternoon. The baton, which arrived in the BVI from Anguilla on April 2nd and then on to Jamaica on April 5th, was launched on Wednesday, October 9, 2013 in a ceremony at Buckingham Palace. For the JTV News, Sean Rose.